Hey gang, I wanted to show you something that I discovered the other day. Um, I came across it in a TikTok video, and I've done it years ago, but actually had totally forgotten about it, so this kind of jarred my memory, and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is a uh, one of the free SVGs from the past, I don't know, week or two, maybe three weeks ago, I can't remember. But I've always shown you guys when you use, you know, the digital papers that I share, to upload them as a pattern fill. Well, you actually can upload, let me go ahead and group this to get it out of the way here. You can upload the digital paper as a regular file, and I will show you what I mean here. Upload image, and I already have some pulled up here, so it's going to pop up here. I typed in Halloween. So the one that I want to use is this one here. It may take a while to upload because it's a big image, but you upload it just like you would um, any print and cut image. I said it might take a little while because it's pretty big. Click on the print and cut and hit upload. And this is going to land on your canvas. This is great for um, if you want to use printable vinyl water slide decal paper, sublimation if you're going to print it out. But I just wanted to share this tip with you guys because I was struggling with my pattern fill that I was using because I kept trying to move the image around to place it where I wanted it and it wasn't coming out right so I was just getting frustrated. So if you click on this and add it to your canvas Obviously, you're going to have to drop down the size here. I'm going to lock this. And I'm going to drop this down to just 10 for right now, but we can make it smaller. And then I'm going to ungroup this. And I want to take the words and hide that. I'm actually looking just to have the pumpkin here. So let's get rid of everything else. Let's hide this, hide this. So I'm going to bring this and I'm going to send this to the back and then I'm going to just place it wherever I think I might like it and then highlight both and I'm going to slice this and then move this out of the way and move this out of the way and now look isn't that cute and then you would just bring all your pieces back here and then don't forget if you're going to print this you need to flatten it. So I'm going to, like if, um, I used to do badge reels and keychains, um, acrylic badge reels, like name tags that you would wear. And this is definitely something that I would use for something like that. So actually we can delete this and we can delete this. And then I would want to come through here and I'm just going to group this real quick. And what I mean by, um, like name tags, I would do a round um, acrylic shape. They're usually about two inches, but you know, I'm just going to show this for your demonstration here and send this to the back. And then I would want to align this, bring this over here. Okay, and then the back one I would want to make white. We actually could size that down a little bit more. I could make my lettering a different color if I want to. Let's say I want to do, I don't know, just something like this. And then you would highlight all of it, and then you would flatten it. And now this is a printable image. Now remember, you have to re remember your sizing because of Cricut Design Space. But there you go. And you, that would be a printable image. It's just a better option for me. I thought this was better because then you can actually arrange your digital paper where you want it, but you can do this with all your digital papers. This is also how I do my keychains, my photo keychains. You bring in a paper, you put an image over top of it, you slice that out, and then your image is inside of 
what you're making. If you guys want to see a demonstration of that, of what I'm talking about, like to do ornaments and keychains and that kind of stuff, let me know and I'll make a quick video for you. Hope this helps somebody, guys. Have a great day.